remember that we, when we announced the Creo strategy, we talked about some breakthrough technologies. And this idea of any data adoption uh, was one of those. The idea that you would be able to seamlessly and effortlessly work with data from any source, whether you're collaborating with partners or whether you're trying to consolidate multiple different systems onto a single CAD system. As you've seen, a lot of multi-CAD capabilities already exist today. Uh, but Creo 3.0, which is planned for delivery early next year, will fully deliver on this promise of any data adoption. So let's just spend a minute and take a look. Right out of the box, with Creo 3.0, at no additional charge, you'll be able to use native files from all of the different major CAD systems. SolidWorks, Sophia, and X. Now, it's a, I really want you to understand what this means. There will be no Creo file created. You're not importing this information. There's no duplicate files to manage. Creo will expand its capabilities to allow you to work with data from those other systems as if they were natively Creo objects. You can see in the example here in the model tree, icons that represent those, those files from those other tools. Now, what you'll also see here is us using the new Creo standard fastener tool. This is a, a mechanism that allows you to place hardware which will intelligently size itself in the assembly based on the surrounding geometry, even when that surrounding geometry comes from another tool. Now, invariably, when we're collaborating with each other, there's change. So let's take a look at what happens when this model that's been modeled in SOLIDWORKS gets changed in SOLIDWORKS. We're going to add some patterns and add some new features, and then we're going to check that back into Windshell. Now, back in Creo, we're able to seamlessly update that model, just as you would with a Creo object. You can replace it in session, and you'll see all of those changes represented and then propagated throughout the rest of the design. Okay? So, on the other hand, we may have a consolidation strategy. We may want to take data, for example, that was originally created in NX, represented here as an NX object, but now make changes to it. So we can use Creo's flexible modeling extension, make any change that we want to it, but when we make that change, the system is intelligent enough to say, okay, this is now a Creo object, and you'll manage it as a Creo object from this point forward. So Creo is delivering on this promise of any data adoption. Its capabilities are easy to manage, they're incredibly powerful, and they'll be available <laughs> to all of you with this upcoming release, and we're pretty excited about all of them. 